What is one aspect of one of your extreme opponents' platforms that you think is a great idea for Canada? My first. <clears throat> I've already uh, complimented uh, the conservative platform on forcing big polluters to pay uh, into a fund that creates new technologies that reduces their impact. Um, it is unfortunately going to take too long. It's a great down the road plan that has to be part of a bigger climate plan that we need to get onto right away. But uh, that's the only piece of uh, the real plan that actually can help us down the road. There is technologies that are being designed in this country that uh, can help with reduction of carbon dioxide. That's fantastic, but um, it's the only piece of that platform that I would like to include in a Canadian solution. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I consider Marty to be a pretty uh, formidable uh, opponent. So uh, I, I see a lot of good things in his platform as well. Um, there's a lot of ideas that overlap in our two platforms, and, and that's a good thing. These are, these are shared visions of what our country can be. And I think that uh, uh, when we look at the earlier question about proportional representation, our governments need to be working together, the people in our government. Uh, we can't be always picking party lines. We need to move forward, and that one way to do that is by coming together to represent all Canadians. Right? We have to keep our Canadians safe and get rid of military assault and weapons off the streets. There's no question about this. There's been an increase in gun crimes by 2,500 victims from 2013 to 2017. So absolutely, one of the things that, that divides our platform from other platforms is Keeping our Canadian state and getting these weapons off of the street. Okay, hey, well, I'm going to give the kudos. If you ask for something you think is good in someone else's platform, I'm going to say, you know, Marty, you and I have talked many times over the last few months about how you better. You're going to have to be an expert in climate change. Uh, we're trying, we're a conservative party, we've done a lot of research, and I'm just going to one paragraph from us if I could. Our real plan to protect our environment is a result of hard work, endless stakeholder consultations great independent research. We don't profess to know it all. We need to work together. Your party has been using this for a long time. We're, we're coming up now. We've got our own plan. I know you mentioned a few times we've got some good things in here, so is your leader. But I've leaned on you personally a few times over this, and I appreciate your help on that. And I will continue to, uh, if and when I can take care of you, to call on you for help in that issue if you need some discussions. David? There's some interesting similarities between the People's Party and the Green Party. Obviously, we have platforms that are very different. A lot of the, I wish the Green Party would stick to the actual environment instead of what looks like thinly disguised promotion of socialism. But the People's Party was formed as a People's Party. And one thing I really like about the Green Party is that you encourage a lot of support from ordinary people. In fact, the television audience can't see it, but if you were in my position, a lot of the people in the audience are Green Party supporters, and I think that's really great to encourage public participation in our democracy. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Click below for more content. Hashtag Green Party Marty. Send in your comments, like it, share with your friends. We need everybody to know that we can win in this riding. We are listening to you.